Good afternoon everybody, welcome along to Macclesfield FC Mixler for today's Northern Premier League game between Macclesfield FC and Ilkeston Town. My name is Matt Todd and I'm joined this afternoon by Richard Patrick. Hello Richard. Good afternoon uh, Matt, good afternoon everybody. Uh, you're probably getting dual commentary at the moment because Andy Worth is spouting away over the loudspeaker which is pointed straight at us but yeah, good afternoon and Mac, who have been wonderful in the trophy, clashing teams above our station. Well, it's back to league activity at home, where we haven't been so good. No, it's been a little bit more tricky, hasn't it, on home territory in, uh, in recent times. But uh, Mac have done well in the last two league games to dig in and grind out results. We're referring, of course, to the 2-1 away victory at Geisley and then the victory here by the same scoreline against Bamber Bridge and they were six very very hard earned points weren't they? They were and uh, you know compared with the ease we put away uh, Hampton and Richmond last week from the league or the level above um, yeah it, it, it's strange and Mac really need over these last five six home games they've got is to try and get maximum points and it'll start today against a, a tough Ilkston side. Kenny out on the left hand side, will it break for Drummond, Drummond fighting well, gets the ball back, gets it back to Dixon, Dixon forward, nice little one two, Drummond through, shot and it's, an, and, and it's fired into the net and I think it's an own goal. Flags up. Is it? Flags up. Flag has gone up and large number of boos go round the stadium. That was tight, I think. It must have been tight. But, uh, Not too many complaints. No. Which is unusual. Which is unusual. Long ball forward to Alabi. Flag stays down. Cutting into the box. Can he score? Yes, he can! Great strike from Dundee Olabi. The flag stays down. The break down the left hand side. Charging into the area, a bit of an angle. Goalkeeper trying to cut down the angle, but the strike was fantastic. And we have only had six minutes, and it is Macclesfield FC 1, Ilkeston 0. Fantastic finish there from Tunde Olabi. Certainly not got his head down after being denied just two minutes earlier by the assistant referee's flag. This time he found oceans of space. On the far side, another in swing it towards the penalty spot heads up Max struggling to defend it and it's put in and it's squeezed in from very close range by Cousin Curzon's header forward down towards the six yard box and within just a minute and a half the visitors are level a oh, very simple goal from Ilkiston again it was that the corner played in big height on that ball across Matt weren't able to get their head to the first one and then fair play to Kirsten's, he was the first man to react. Trying to break forward now. Willarby nearly gets onto the ball and Cox does well, but now Drummond has the ball and it's a goal! Oh, and there's a hat, it's disallowed oh. for handball by the referee. And Drummond picked up a loose ball as Elkiston failed to clear, Cox failed to clear and it bounced through off the keeper out to Olabi thought he'd scored his second Ilkerson defence but it's now Walker Walker's got a chance and had, he's chipped it just past the Macclesfield goal long ball forward and Jamie, Jamie Walker got onto it Berry decided to stop coming out and he's probably right but he should have Everybody's back onto the six-yard box or comes through to the edge of the six-yard box. Headed clear there by Fenson, but it'll come back from Thompson. Good ball in, and it's a great header by number seven, Wafula, who just flicks the ball in to the far right-hand corner. And it is Macclesfield one, Ilkeston two. Yeah, again, a very, very simple goal, wasn't it? The Matt did well to clear the first long throw, but it went back to the taker. Eric Thompson just floated one in there. And uh, Wafula did well, just got up ahead of Drew Baker. Forward to Bohan Dixon. Dixon now 
Gets into his stride towards the edge of the box. Dixon looking for options. Goes to Rooney. Space inside the box for Rooney. Yeah. And Rooney scores. Sneaks one inside the far post. And a lovely bit of composure there from John Rooney. And as the first half peters out just a minute ago, Mack are back on level terms. Indeed. And we were right behind that. And Rooney literally picked his spot in the far corner. Nice little ball to him. A little bit of space. Still a lot to do. But the goalkeeper never moved because he just fired it in. From about 35 yards, maybe. Oh, no. Chip towards the back goal. And it is struck in. A fantastic try. But it was Marshall who took the ball and fired it in. Just inside the left hand upright. And Berry was nowhere near that. No, uh, absolutely fired it in, didn't he? Marshall. Not much Berry could do, I don't think. The ball seems to be moving around. Forward, little ball forward there. And there is a foul. He's that, off. He's that, gone. He, that will be a booking, a second booking for Walker. And he is walking. Yeah. Uh, it was a nice little turn by Mendy out on the right hand side and Walker just couldn't resist because he was never going to get the ball it was a deliberate little chip stupid action by Ilkeston's top scorer and they it didn't work but now it is with Rooney he does launch it into the box head's got up header by head's a chance oh and a fantastic save to come out to this near hand side back into the box it's with Drummond back to, to Lee. Lee to Rooney. We'll go back to the save in a moment as away can come Ilkeston. Firstly, it was a great header in, great save by Yates. What he did in the first half. Matt. I did my best as Matt come forward down the right. Drummond with it now. Chance to cross into the middle. Plays one in. Oh, Larby! Off the post. Heathcote's in there. Ball still in the six yard box and eventually it's behind. Oh, that was almost the route back into the game oh well Arby should score advancing Drummond checked inside him it goes to Drummond now looking for the 1-2 back on to Pemberton chance to pull it back for Oalabi Oalabi off the line and Rooney can't follow it up and again that's more superb defending from Ilkeston than the foul by Fenson on Curzons that's the cross flashes one in towards Heathcote Heathcote goes down and it's a penalty Heathcote was in there trying to get himself onto the ball from Neil Kenney. There's a yellow card in the middle. Not quite sure, again, which one of the centre-halves it is. Yeah, it was, I mean, Heathcote Cox. Was, was going to get, to get to the ball. And Cox just, well, went through it, basically. Definitely a penalty. I don't think there's a lot of complaints by... Ilkeston players and who is our penalty taker? It's Rooney. Curran might have been the man but he's out injured so Rooney will take this one right footed penalty 15 minutes to go and a chance here to get Matt level once more Rooney steps up and Rooney scores straight down the middle 17 goals for the season for him now dispatches the penalty and we might be in for a grandstand finish here well we might look after the ball but it's lost by Eric Thompson forward it goes for Oalabi, Oalabi now, round the goalkeeper, chance to score and does! Oalabi rounded Yates, lifted the ball home and with just over six minutes to go, Oalabi has his second of the game and Matt 4-3 up now well yeah, lovely ball forward and, and Oalabi strong with the defenders up against the keeper, the keeper came out, oh, Alabi goes right and finds the middle of the net. He'll be relieved, I think, he will be. And, but well taken. Drummond goes past him, Pemberton on the overlap, picks up the ball, Pemberton back to Drummond inside the area, chance to go square to Rooney, Rooney onto his left foot, and Rooney buries it into the far corner. Hat-trick for Rooney. Brilliant, brilliant finish. And that puts this game to bed. It does, yeah. Macclesfield 5, Elkiston 3, Wayne Rooney's hat-trick and, well, beautiful move and really con good control down that right-hand side. Drummond started it and then 
Pemberton goes in and Rooney just let the ball run across him and then done wonderfully well two of the fastest Mac players as there the referee go. says that's enough and I think Ilkeston agree they've uh, battled very hard here in the end they've fallen to a 5-3 defeat Mac getting themselves back in front after 84 minutes Tunde will all be rounding the goalkeeper chipping one home and then John Rooney with his hat-trick after 88 minutes a lovely left-footed finish into the far corner breaking the resistance of Ilkeston who made this very very difficult for Matt yes and uh, I mean Matt part of architects of their problems but uh, uh, when they went three two up you worried for Matt the sending off did not help